Yeah, we're getting ready to put the ceiling joist up. You can see them leaning against the wall there. You can see how I've got the screw jacks anchored in there. And the bolt is cut off at the bottom and tightened up. We had to put one brace on the wall. It was bowed in just very, very slightly. And on an exterior wall, on my plates, if there's a bow, I would rather turn that bow in because it's easier to, for me to push it out than it is to try to pull it in. So when we get these joists up there and anchor to the top of our settling beam, we can take this brace down. It won't be necessary anymore. This is a joist, the first joist that we scribed and I made it into a pattern. Uh, they'll be 119 inches long. Our our tail is about three degrees, and you might be able to detect that there's a little bit of a angle cut here to set on top of the beam. We're having to run uh, on the outside wall. It's seven feet to the top of that beam. And where you see that plywood, that was gonna be a window, but we're gonna open that up into a door into the kitchen. And you can see the ribbon that we've got screwed to the log across there. That is seven foot six. We needed a little bit of a slope uh, on the ceiling, which is not going to matter. But I wanted to bring that up above the door cutout enough that so when the trim goes on, it won't look like it's just butted up against the ceiling. We'll put the first ceiling joist on and I'll cut blocks and go in between. It's kind of a friction block, some people call them, and uh, the joist will be anchored into that ribbon, and then there will be a block in between each joist, and that should hold really, really well. So we're going to gear up and start putting them on. Ceiling joists are all up and anchored down. We blocked in between each one over here against the building. We've got our settling taken care of with the beam and uh, we're getting ready to put the rafters up. But before we do that, I'll show you what I've done. I call this a strong back. And I'm talking about the two before that's on top of the joist. And I had to rip down a two by six that's on its edge it's anchored into the two before and toe nailed down into uh, the ceiling joist. Some people call that a rat run or mouse run. I've just always called it a strong back. It keeps your joist on the 16 inch layout and it gives it a little bit of strength also. It uh, ties everything together really well and they can be actually anchored to the top of the wall I'll have to make a settling place there. I'll have to cut a block with a slot in it like I did on the end studs. There will have to be a, a, an allowance there. That will tie everything together, that rat run, mouse run, strong back, whatever you want to call it. It just gives it some more strength. And the rafters, what we've done, I wanted to put a plumb cut on the top of the rafters where they join on. We didn't want to have to run them underneath the timber frame rafter tails. So this area right here from that, I guess you would be able to call that a ridge, but it's down lower. We put blocks on either side of the uh, rafter tail that's 
overhangs the cabin. We put a 2 by 6 up against that, so all of my cuts at the top will be a plumb cut on the pitch of the roof. So I will go ahead and block in between them like I did in between the joists. Now just make it a little bit stronger. Okay, here we go. It's starting to warm up. And we hope to get these rafters up before it gets too terribly hot on us. We've got our rafters on in good shape. We have started the lathing, 2 before 4 lathing, 24 inch center. And there's really not much a way to set a camera up to, to show you what we're doing. But I have made videos where I've put the lathing on before. But after we get it up, I'll show you what we've got. I've mentioned this already. The screw jacks that are up there on top of the wall and underneath that 4x4 saddling beam where this roof can settle down. We can adjust that with the nuts. The joist and the rafters are connected to the log part of the building which will settle. It has already settled some and we will be able to, to keep up with everything and keep it coming down evenly. The rafters are anchored to a 2x6 that is set plumb. You can see the blocks there that are on the side of the rafters that have a plumb cut on the end and the 2 by 6 is anchored to that so that lets me be able to cut a plumb cut on the end of the rafter that goes up against the main roof. The 2 before 4 lathing is all on. I screwed it down with 3 inch torque screws and we'll put the metal on top of that and I've got uh, a 2 by 4 here. You can see it's notched in to the top of this joist and just anchored into the to the edge of it. There are two of those. There's this one, and then there's one right up there. Now, I call these an outrigger. A lot of people have different terminology for different things that they do in the framing world, but this is just the terms that I grew up with, and I still use them. It was what my dad taught me, and he was considered one of the best builders in western Arkansas, and I was proud to be able to, to come up underneath him and to learn from him. You can see a blue line right here that I've snapped. I just came up two inches actually from the outside edge of the uh, first lath and I went up to the top. There's two rows uh, or two runs of lathing up there at the very top and I snapped a line that was parallel to this this line right here and that corner right there or that end of the first lath lines up with the lath that is on the roof, the main roof. And I just took my calculator and I figured my diagonal from that point down to that corner. And I made a mark on my, my blue line and I went from that corner up there and came down to this point and made my mark of the diagonal. And that ensures that I was uh, actually keeping this particular roof here square with the main roof. And so I could snap the lines on the lath and cut them off and get the barge rafter on there. And I knew that, my, that this roof here will be square and our metal should work out pretty well. At least that's the plan. 